Hello, my name is Arthur, and in this video, we're going to remake this machine gun. So we're going to come up with something a little less Mickey Mousey. So, we'll just close this down. Well, actually, we'll leave it open, because we'll need it in the end. We have uh, Instance of Blender, we have GIMP open, and I have my screenshot application. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a screenshot and we'll find a browning 50 cal images and what i want is an image that has a reasonable picture of bullets so something with a good picture of a bullet let's see what that looks like um, those are all a little blown out. Let's see if we can find one with a less blown out picture. How about this one? Those are a little blown out too. Um, we could probably get something. Oh, here we go. So let's see, which one do I like best? Maybe we'll pick something like... I think this one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Um, I don't even need the whole bullet. I just need some color samples. So we'll copy that to clipboard. We'll come in here. We're going to open um, desktop map assets wood Control paste. Let's tools transform scale. We'll just scale this down. Something like that. Scale. And that's fine. So we'll just anchor that. And yeah, I just want it for some colors. It's just an easy way to um to make some to make some materials. So that will save me making a whole bunch of different materials. So we can just close that. We can close that. Select all X. Delete. Side view. Shift A. We'll start with a cylinder. F9. 24. Um, 0 0.0127. I'll just shrink this to one meter, be a little easier to deal with. We'll rotate that 90 on X. X-ray tab. We'll delete this side of it. We'll go into faces. X delete only faces so one two point point zero one two seven is more is um that's the size of a 50 caliber um 127 millimeters or one 
yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's just the number that I read for the size of a 50 caliber. So we're just going to scale that up and that'll more or less be the barrel. So we can extrude that in a little bit. Let's get the move tool so we are moving things properly. And that's just for a little bit of appearance. So we can select all. Look at that from the front view. Circle deselect the middle. And that will get us going. So let's see which side are we on here. So I'll extrude that. We're kind of on the wrong side of everything. Um, that's a little bit too exaggerated. So we'll scale that limiting Y. Just bring it down a little bit. And then we'll come back to just this end. Extrude scale. Somewhere around there. Let's go to a front view again. So we can see. We'll scale that up a little bit. That should be good. We'll extrude. We'll pull out some barrel. And we'll just change the size of this stuff later. Shift duplicate that. We'll pull this out. We'll scale it up some. We'll extrude it. Let's go to a top view so we can see. Scale that up some. So something like that is about right. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Shift A. We'll add a circle. F9. Point zero one two seven. 12. We'll just move that around. I think that this line here is our sort of our threshold line. So we don't want to go past that line. So if we bring this up somewhere around there, we can scale a little bit. I think that'll work. And then we'll duplicate that. I'm going to use the control key. Shift duplicate that. And use the control key. Shift duplicate that. And use the control key. L. L. Period. Individual origins. So let's see, scale 0.9, okay that looks good, L and L, scale 0.9, that looks good, and L, scale 0.9, that looks good. So we're just going to select all of these. We'll come to a side view. We'll pull them all up like this. P, separate that selection. Go to a top view. L. Um, I'm not sure why that's not selecting. Let's go into faces. That should make it easier to select. Mesh, knife project. And we'll go L period 3d cursor rotate y 60 and knife project mesh knife project l rotate y 60 mesh knife project let's turn off x-ray that way it doesn't get visually confusing l rotate y 60 Knife project. L 
rotate Y60 mesh knife project L rotate Y60 and this is the last one mesh knife project delete faces that can be deleted now we don't need it anymore <clears throat> and we can just start selecting all of these circle insides and delete them so circle select is usually easiest for something like this X faces we'll just rotate around X faces whoops C for circle select X faces and one last row here X faces L extrude scale shift limiting Y and then we can just extrude some body into that and that'll be good we can come into vertices select a couple on that edge select edge loops period median point extrude scale and pull that forward a little bit like that control plus we could also pull this forward a little bit and then this x-ray so we're selecting it all we would pull more or less level with that and let's see how does that look we still have to pull the other side out but that can just get pulled so we would select this scale Y0 that would flush that up and then this side we can just pull out like that that all makes sense looks good so let's see where are we at here okay shift A will add a plane rotate X 90 we'll turn it up like that we'll scale it way down something like that would be about right something like there gets a little sensitive as you get closer to that median maybe a little a little bit more scale it on X so that it's more or less as fat and then kind of pull it like that and that'll work we'll extrude it to there we're going to loop cut it with two cuts so we'll do that scale it on Z somewhere around there pull that up something like that We'll select this and we'll extrude it and this and we'll extrude it then this and we'll go scale Y0 that will flush them up and pull those a little bit more we'll select these four give it a face 
select all of it, extrude it. Um, we'll select all mesh normals, recalculate outside. Hopefully that will make things look a little better. We'll scale this on Z and slim it down a little bit. And then we'll pull it down here like this. Well, we can pull this back a little bit. Something like that. And then we'll extrude this. Somewhere around there. We'll extrude it one more time. Somewhere around there. Faces. Let's turn off that x-ray. We're going to extrude this in like that shift D duplicate it drop it where it is scale it on Y and we'll turn it into more or less a square so something like that let's look at that a little more from a side view we'll pull it like that then we're going to extrude it out so we'll go like that, we'll extrude it again, like that, we'll get this top, extrude that up, something like that, extrude it again, like this, extrude it again, out like this, control plus, um, extrude scale shift limiting X just so we can fatten that up a little bit then we could take that whole unit and kind of give it a little bit of an angle that's wrong let's go to vertices and let's Go back to x-ray and we'll circle deselect that part and that would make more sense like that so that looks a little more right if we come into material we can just take this material call it gun black And put that into an area that it should be at. On the back side, we'll shift D, duplicate this, scale it. We'll look at that from here. And let's just rotate it 90 degrees. And then we'll kind of pull it over here and pull it up here. We'll extrude that out. So pull it out like this. And pull it out a little further. And then we're going to push it out like this. And that's about right. We can shift D, duplicate that. We'll come into mesh, mirror, um, X local. And then if we go into global and we just take the minus sign off of the X, that should end up in the right position over here. So we'll just grab these two faces, extrude. They're going to go in the wrong direction. I don't really know why it does that. It's a little odd. We can go like this and extrude and those are coming in the wrong direction too for some reason we'll just pull those down like that um so this material is going to do a few things we'll get a few colors out of this 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use an image texture, open, desktop, assets, and we'll look for that one with the bullet. Then in UV editing, we can start picking some things out here. So that one, we can UV, smart UV project, OK. Let's put our stuff into that window. We'll select all. Let's scale. And we'll just grab all of this and make it all wood. And let's select that stuff again. So we can assign it its material. So that gets assigned that. And that will give it kind of a wood handle. And this thing. We can UV, smart project, OK. All, scale. Grab that up over here. Assign. Then this part, um, UV, Smart Project, OK, select all, merge at center, grab, we're going to assign that, I don't know why it keeps changing, assign, Let's give that a metallic. And this part didn't assign. Control plus plus plus. Assign. That kind of gets the wood. So up here, we don't need to pay attention to that anymore. We'll shift D, duplicate that. We'll scale it a little bit like this, and then we'll scale it on X like that. We'll extrude it up. We'll extrude it up. We'll scale it on X. <clears throat> Maybe scale it on X this way a little bit. Give it a little bit of shapeliness. And that's all right. Shift D, duplicate that. Let's get our arrow, our grab tool. We'll scale that a little bit. We'll extrude it up. Um, let's loop cut it. We'll give it two cuts like that. Faces, this tool. Let's see what happens if we just pull that up. No, that's not gonna work out. Let's scale this first on X, like that. And then we'll extrude these up. Then we'll go period, individual origin, scale X. Sort of slim those in. And maybe this one makes more sense. Scaled in more. And maybe the whole thing would make a little more sense scaled in on X more. And that looks alright. Yeah, I could aim with that. Alright. So, that's our gun. That looks... 
looks a little bit better than it did. Um, we need to S cursor to selected tab object origin to 3D cursor shift S cursor to world origin shift S selection to cursor whoops selection to cursor um, something didn't work out there shift S cursor to selected tab object set origin to 3D cursor shift S cursor to world origin shift S selection to cursor okay that was the hard way okay so now we're going to do an ammo box so let's go into vertices shift D duplicate we'll drop that and we'll circle deselect this we'll pull this up <clears throat> control plus scale on Y we'll expand that a little bit we're gonna come into material and we're gonna add in a green Just do this like this. So we'll go like this. Let's look at that this way. That way we can have some perspective. So something like that would work. We're going to loop cut with one cut. We'll pull that up like this. Okay, we'll come into faces, we're going to X, delete this face, vertices, we'll put a face in here, this, scale Z, zero, like that, we'll pull that down, this, Scale Z zero. Oh, we don't want to do that. That's not going to work out. Let's come up a whole bunch first. And then we can do that. Scale Z zero. And pull that up a little bit like that. So that's like an ammo box. It's not really big enough. These ammo boxes are a little bigger than that but we're gonna go with this size out of work out so the next thing we're gonna need is a bullet so shift cursor to selected tab shift a add a cylinder f9 rotate x90 That'll be a start. Um, let's just pull this down. We're going to bring this down too. Ooh, that went way too far. Okay. We'll just do this more manually than that. So we'll scale it on Y. Something like that. Let's get a side view here so we can see. <clears throat> so scale that on Y. We'll pack it right in there. We'll scale shift limit Y. Whoops. Scale shift Y. Slim it down a little bit. And 
and that's about right so let's just hide the gun for now and we'll work on this bullet so we'll need some loot cuts in it we'll go like this and we'll go like this and maybe one like that now this part scale up a bit here scale shift limiting y and then here scale and this part could probably come back a little so be more like that and then back here whoops back here we would inset a face so something like that well, let's go into materials we'll give it this color we'll come into UV editing <clears throat> UV unwrap okay well that looks pretty crazy right so what we're gonna do with that is we'll all merge at center and we'll grab that up and give that this color up here somewhere control invert UV unwrap all merge at center we'll grab this part we'll put it down here somewhere and we'll see what we're getting for colors on that so those look okay now for this one UV unwrap merge at center we'll grab that and we'll put that somewhere dark maybe even like that see what that looks like um that's too much so let's see there's this little spot here I think that would work yeah that's all right we can work with that so let's go back into modeling and we'll turn off x-ray actually we'll leave x-ray on for now <clears throat> so we're going to need another color and we're going to need the gun black so we're going to shift d duplicate that we're going to scale it up a little bit and then we're going to scale it on y like this and then kind of pull it back like this and then shift duplicate it and pull that forward like that let's turn off x-ray select L and assign that material so we're going to extrude that and scale it like that we don't want something too exaggerated here we're going to extrude that and we don't want something too exaggerated here and then we're going to go add modifier array and let's see what's going on there yeah that's going in the wrong direction um is it let's get the gun we need to see the gun here to see what's going on um <laughs> well our bullets going in the wrong direction too so let's select all side view rotate 180 let's get our bullet going in the right direction that'll help that way our array can be going in the right direction too 
because this should be going in a negative direction. So right around there. That works for me. And that works for me, too. So we're going to call that good, tab. We're going to apply that. We'll tab back into edit mode. We're just going to do L, select linked, shift, cursor to selected. Um, period, 3D cursor, select all. Rotate. We'll rotate that like that. L. We'll go to a view where we can see. Let's go 9. Maybe that will be easier to see like that. feel like I'm looking right down the barrel. Shift duplicate. Let's um, check things from a top view because something feels wrong here. Yeah, something is wrong here. Control Z, 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 Z. Yeah. When I rotated that, I wasn't looking at it properly. So we don't want it like that. What we probably want is to do this. L, Shift S, cursor to selected. And then select all of this. Up to here, let's see. And then we can rotate, sort of like that. And that will probably make more sense. Now things should work out. So we'll go 9. We'll check it from the top view. Okay, everything's right now. So 1, 9. Shift, duplicate. And I'm not sure. We don't want to put them in impossible places too much. We're just going to put an underneath row so that the ammo box appears to be full. And that should give a pretty good appearance. Like, I figure this gun will look pretty decent. And... Well, let's just pop one down here. I don't think that's going to make too much difference, though. When we turn that off... Yeah, that doesn't make too much difference, but it looks pretty good. So, yeah, that's going to be my gun. I'm going to just take Control J, join these. I'll change its name, Browning. We'll lose that number there. That has no meaning. Control copy. We'll come into the vehicle here. X. Delete. Control paste. Shift. Snap. Cursor to selected. That'll put the cursor up on the top of the gun mount. We'll select the browning. Shift snap. Selection to cursor. That gun's way too big. So we'll scale that back a bit. Um, probably somewhere around there. Let's see what the size is. One, three. 
let's see, I could probably get it up a little bigger, something like that, make it nice and impressive, that looks pretty good, so what do we have for scale on that, um, Y 1.5, so we can just take that out of there, and close this, I don't even need to save it, and we can just scale till y is 1.5 so scale that down 1.5 ish um yeah i'm not sure all of those make sense So what we'll do is we'll apply rotation and scale. Now it makes sense. So it's 1.19 meters. And we can just save this. And in the next video, we'll have a look at what it looks like in the game engine. So we'll save this here. Um, we'll call it browning. Fifty cal. Oh, what are we doing here? We're supposed to just save that. Save as. Map assets? Yeah, that'll work. So browning. Fifty cal. And save. So that's it for this video. Um, maybe a little bit long. I hope it was worthwhile. And until the next video, take care.